Okay, we're going to look at a couple of examples of stationary points questions that have got fractions in them. You quite often see these types of results appearing in part B of optimization questions. Okay, so what we're going to do is find stationary points and determine their nature. So let's say we've got a is a function of x is equal to x squared plus 432,000 over x and we're going to find stationary points to determine the nature. Okay, my first move is I need to prepare to differentiate now x squared is good to go. But I'm going to bring that up and that will be 432,000 x to the minus 1. Okay, I can now differentiate, bring the power down and multiply, take 1 away from the power and that's going to be 2x minus 432,000 x to the minus 2 and I'm immediately going to make that equal to 0 and make a statement which is communicating to the marker that I know that stationary points occur when the differentiated function is equal to 0 so a dash to x is equal to 0 for stationary points, something like that ok, now I need to now retidy this back up and introduce the positive power so that's going to be Two x minus four hundred and thirty two thousand over x to the positive two and that's equal to zero. Okay, now that looks as if it's tricky to solve, but it's actually a bit of manipulation, not too bad. Okay, so the thing that's causing difficulty in terms of moving forward to this equation is this divide by x squared bit. So why not multiply everything in the equation by x squared? Uh, we've got the luxury of doing that because 0 times x squared will still give me 0 and not change a thing. So 2x times x squared is 2x cubed. And then that divide by x squared will cancel with times by x squared and just leave me with minus 432,000. And then 0 times x squared is still 0. I'm now going to bring that across. And that's 2x cubed is equal to 432,000 x cubed is then equal to 432,000 divided by 2. So if now get x cubed is equal to 216,000. And then to get from x cubed down to x, that means I'm going to take the cube root. So the cube root of 216,000, and you can use your calculator for that, that will give you 60. So the stationary point that occurs when x equals 60. Okay, now my next move is to set up the nature table. So it's going to be x, a dash to x, and slope. I know that I've got a stationary point when x equals 60, so that will give me zero gradient and the slope going along the way. Now, a neighbouring value that approaches 60 might be 59. A neighbouring value that moves away from 60 might be 61. The key thing here is I'm analysing the differentiated function, so I would sub 59, 61 in the differentiated function. I could put it in here with a negative power, but it would be easier to put it into this one. It's the same function, it's just been manipulated to make the power positive, which is a wee bit more convenient. Okay, so it's going to be a dash 59 will be equal to 2 lots of 59 minus 432,000 over 59 squared. Okay, so punch that into the calculator. Okay, that will give me minus 6.1 key thing you take from that is that is a negative result which means the slope's going down a bit ok now let's try 61 so a dash 61 will be equal to 2 lots of 61 minus 432,000 over 61 squared let's punch that in that will give me 5.9 odds and the key thing you take from that is that is a positive result the slope goes up the way we can see that that is a minimum turning point. So we've got a minimum turning point at x equals 60. Okay, question two. Stationary points and nature. This time I'm given the function which is L equals 3x plus 48 over x. Okay, now there's a wee proviso on the question, which is x must be greater than zero. So I'm going to find the stationary point and determine the nature. Okay, first move is to prepare to differentiate. 3x is ready to go, but the 48 over x needs to become 48x to the 
minus 1. I can now differentiate, and that'll be 3 minus 48x to the minus 2, make that equal to 0, and make my statement something like for stationary points L dashed equal 0. Okay, so let's now bring that down. 3 minus 48 over x squared is equal to 0. Okay, so the divide by x squared looks as if it's causing that difficulty, so I can easily get around that. Just multiply everything in the equation by x squared. Okay, so 3 times x squared is 3x squared. The divide by x squared and the times by x squared cancel out. Leave me just minus 48 and then 0 times x squared is 0. Okay, 3x squared is equal to 48. x squared equals 48 over 3. x squared equals 16. x equals the square root of 16 and x is equal to, well, normally plus or minus 4, but the proviso in the question is that x must be greater than 0. Therefore, we only choose x equals 4. Okay, next move is to set up a nature table. Okay, so it's going to be x, l dashed, and slope. Okay, my stationary point then occurs at 4. So neighbouring values to 4 before and after could be 3 and 5. Okay, so the differentiated function, let's choose that one because that's got a positive power as opposed to this one, which has got a negative power. It's the same function, I've just manipulated it so that I've got a positive power, which is easy to sub numbers in. And we're going to first swap in 3. Okay, so that's going to be L dashed equals 3 minus 40 over 3 squared. Put that in your calculator. Okay, so that will give me minus 2.3 to come. And we decline from that. That is a negative result. We'll have a zero result because it's a stationary point when x equals 4. Now let's investigate what happens when I put in 5. And that's going to be L dashed equals 3 minus 48 over 5 squared. Okay, put that in. Okay, and that's a positive result of 1.08. Okay, and we can see clearly that that is a min turning point at x equals 4 final answer.